Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Robert Devan, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 242. This is your biggest and toughest opponent. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. This is your biggest and toughest opponent. Imagine what I'm going to say it is. What do you think I'm going to say it is? Well, how is your year going so far? How's your January going? How has it started? Are you struggling? Sure, of course you are. Most people are. But do you know why you're struggling? Do you know why it's so hard? We might have outlined some of the reasons in the, the last episode, but it all boils down to your worst enemy, your biggest and toughest opponent. Come on, Robert, let's cut to the chase. What is it? It's this thing that everybody suffers from. And if you're denying it, then you're in denial. And it is the answer, drum roll, distraction. You are being distracted constantly. Do you even realize the level of distraction in your life? If you've listened to me tell you that your biggest and your toughest opponent, your worst enemy is distraction, and you've just rolled your eyes, or you've just thought, is that it? You're completely underestimating your enemy and your opponent. Sure, of course it is distraction. This is the single thing that is holding you back from all of your ambition, all of the success that you're due, all of the happiness and distraction comes in many different forms. There's three main ways to be distracted. You can be distracted by other people. You, be, you can be distracted by situations and circumstance and thing that, things that are going on around you. And you can be distracted by yourself. Each one of these are lethal. Each one of these are goal killers. So what is distraction, first of all? Well, it's basically anything that is taking your time away from your mission, from your path in life, from doing what you should be doing. If you think you are not distracted, well, you're lying to yourself. And if you weren't distracted, can you answer me these questions? Why are you still feeling dissatisfied? Why are you feeling dissatisfied with life? Why are you feeling frustrated? Why don't you have more, especially more of the things that you want? Why have you not experienced more in your life, more of the things that you wish you had experienced? And why have you not become more? Why are you not even more higher evolved in your, your own visions of yourself? Well, the answer to all of those questions, as harsh as they may be, is you're, you're being distracted and you're letting too much distraction be a part of your life. It's attacking your focus and your focus and your concentration are being attacked purposefully, sometimes accidentally, but either way, it's like, it's like a bus crashing into you and killing you. If the bus crashed into you on purpose or the bus crashed into you by accident, Either way is irrelevant because in both scenarios, you're still dead. So attacking your focus, whether by accident or on purpose, and it is on purpose the majority of the time, is irrelevant. There are so many different things attacking your concentration, your, your focus, and basically distracting you. And they are, they are mainstream media, social media, entertainment in general, Negative addictions, and I've said negative addictions because there are positive addictions. There can be positive addictions that 
are a part of your goals, i.e. what's the most common? Uh, what are you talking about, Robert? Training, physical, physical activity. You can, you can make your sport or your pastime or, you know, your hobby or even your, your, your work life. And you can make that, you can be passionate about it so much so that it is an addiction. You're replacing negative addictions with a positive addiction. Well, I don't want to go too far off that, but what else is it? Who else are attacking um, your, your focus and distracting you with well, time wasters and energy zappers? People that waste your time and people that just want to use up all your productive energy that should have been used on other things. So first of all, let's, let's go through them. Media, social media and entertainment. These people involved in media, social media and entertainment spend billions, yes, billions to distract you they spend billions researching billions putting stuff together specifically with the objective of distracting you what's a massive distraction well really obvious one is netflix if you are not chasing your dreams in the evening if you are you know when when five o'clock rolls around if you are Settling on that sofa to watch hours of Netflix every evening, well, then you are being massively distracted and you are absolutely selling yourself short. I'm not against Netflix. Little bit, little bit of distraction can be relaxing, can help you with, with you know, recharge your batteries and You can use a little bit of downtime that you're not going to be productive. Absolutely. But that is it. A little bit. What is a little bit? I guarantee you it's not the massive bit that most people are 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 using to distract themselves. So speaking of distracting yourself, doing things instead of the things you should be doing. So making poor choices over the long term. Procrastinating. A procrastination leads to massive future regret you need to be disciplined in order to delay gratification and to concentrate on you know what's good for you delay that instant gratification just because something feels good initially in the moment like watching you know your show um or watching or binge watching which we're all being encouraged to do they were that was never a term that was that we used previous to to Netflix I suppose and box set sounds like I'm attacking Netflix I have a Netflix account by the way um but I absolutely would would got to be very rare to binge watch something and I, I'm no saint I have my downtime but this is it downtime when you couldn't possibly have been productive as opposed to using your productive energy and your productive time because all that's going to happen later on in life is you're going to have a, a level of frustration. You're going to have a hollowness and emptiness. You're going to have um, a horrible guilt that you could have done more, that you should have done more, and a horrible regret. Let that fear of regret drive you to do more of the things that you should be doing. So delay that instant gratification for larger future life satisfaction. People, by the way, people, some people are some of the worst distractions. They will absolutely distract you and waste as much time and waste as much energy. Uh, Some people who don't deserve your time, don't deserve your energy, will dump emotional baggage onto you which can be heavy which again waste your time and waste your energy it is very important to juggle your time your loved ones and the people that are important to you are the ones that should be getting the majority of your time and your energy many people will try to knock you off your path again on purpose or by accident it's irrelevant They're still doing it to you. They're still wasting your time. They're still wasting your energy. They might even be wasting your finances and they're taking away from your mission and your goal. You have to ruthlessly filter people from your life that don't deserve to be a part of your mission. Now, this is a massive subject in and of itself. Frenemies, competitors, um, 
anyone masquerading as wanting the best for you and they actually don't. Time wasters, energy zappers. There's should be lots of space in your heart for you know love for all the people that are important to you. But there is a limit on the amount of time, the amount of energy, and the amount of love that you can give. So therefore, be careful with whom you have in your circle. Keep a, a, a small circle. Help everybody that deserves your help. Help everybody that you can. But this is it. If you're concentrating on your path, on your mission, on your goals, you can only help a limited amount of people. And you achieving your goals and you going after what it is that you want to, to do in life will actually help other people as well. It can help inspire them when you're in a, a position to help others. You know, charity starts at home. So once you're in a position to help, you'll be able to help even more people. If you don't get there, you might not be able to help the amount of people that you could have helped had you not achieved your mission. So what do you need to do? Well, it's about knowing. Know what you want. Know who you are. Know what you have to do. Know your potential distractions. Know the environment and conditions you need to succeed. You need to have a meditate. You need to have a meditation session on, on those. Have a think about them. You don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to make it weird. You can use a pen and paper. Or you can absolutely do it while you're doing your, your meditative breathing. Know what you want. Know who you are, know what you have to do, know your potential distractions and know the environment and conditions that you need to succeed. Have a think about those. Message me anytime. Thank you for listening. I'm Robert Devan, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.